Hola, me ambitions. How's it going? Today we are trying this gel remover in a bottle situation. So first, I am just seeing where my natural nail is. And I am cutting down my builder gel because I made extensions with my builder gel the last time I applied this. So I am just um, cutting down that extension part to where my natural nail is on all of my fingers. And then... We are going to get into this. I got the, it's called Get Naked from Triple D. And um, it's supposed to, I'm sure you guys have seen other people do this video. I just wanted to test it out. I wanted to try it for myself. And I thought, why not film it? So I got this bottle from Zim. And I already had this little tool set from Amazon and that little triangle thing right there is what's going to help us get the gel off. So this is supposed to be able to remove um, gel polish, builder gel, and dip powder. Now I still have yet to try it on dip powder, um, but it did take off this builder gel which you will see and so is very thick as you can tell and so you just apply a layer of this to your nails and then you wait for three minutes which I did wait for three minutes but to you guys it's gonna be like three seconds you know so uh, you wait for three minutes and then you <clears throat> quote unquote gently scrape away the gel on your nail. Now, and then it's when you ever you start to feel um, resistance or friction, that kind of thing, or it starts to hurt to get it off, just apply another layer, leave it on for three minutes again, and then you can start the whole process over again and you just do that as many times as you need to do it to get it off so that is what we are doing and I was like very um skeptical of this at first I was like is this really going to work because right here on my thumb I was like I feel like this is just the layer of the stuff that I put on that's coming off but, no, it was also the Builder Gel. It did come off. And it came off of some of my nails easier than the rest. And that just is comes down to how much I actually filed them and how thick the product still was on my nail. So, I did, um, I took my e-file before I started this and I filed that Builder Gel down some. And to what I thought was good enough I probably could have filed down a little bit more but whatever so when I started to feel like I had gotten um what I could off of my thumb before needing another layer now I added my other layer before doing all the rest of my nails that way by the time I get to my pinky I can start back again on my thumb if that makes sense like, that way I don't have to go through my whole hand, reapply to all my fingers, and then wait again. Like, I'm just trying to make the process as easy as possible. So, and as quick as possible. So, once I'm done with a finger, I just reapply the stuff and then go on to the next finger. And we are just scraping. Scrape, scrape, scrape. And getting it off. Um... I'm not gonna lie I was a little bit forceful on some fingers at certain times trying to get the builder gel off um I'm just being 100% honest with y'all like um yeah I, I don't always listen to the rules so I, while I was 
gentle for the most part. When I started getting the layers off, I was really trying to see how much more I could get off and I was being a little forceful. Um, so yeah, you can either do as I do at your own discretion or don't do as I do and just do as I say and be gentle and take your time. But I'm an impatient person and sometimes I like to push the limits and that's what I did. So, anywho, um, I am doing this now. I forgot to put on another layer on this finger, on my ring finger, which I will realize when I get to it here in a minute, when I get back around to it after doing all of the other fingers again. But, um, I did feel like this did work. It did work. I'm, I didn't feel like it worked. It did work. It worked. Um, will I use it again? Probably, yes. Because it, to me, soaking off dip powder is fine. Like, it's super fast. I don't have any problems with it. But soaking off a gel is such a pain in the butt. If you know, you know. And this just saves... I have no idea what that dry patch on my thumb is past my cuticle or past my knuckle. No idea. So ignore that. Um, and you see how bubbly it gets? Like, it gets like foamy almost the longer it sits on your nail. Which I'm assuming is just, you know, it breaking up that product underneath. But anyways, soaking off gel is such a pain in the butt. And this, like, no dry fingers, no dry cuticles. It's just a little time-consuming-ish, but not horrible. I This video was, like, 56 minutes long before editing it. But I have to take into consideration that... Every time I film a video, every time I film a video, I am not just filming a video and doing a mani or whatever. I'm also getting up here and there to get snacks for my baby, to get drinks for him, to change diapers, to whatever. It's not just, I can't just sit down and have my time be focused on this one thing. So, and I don't, um, turn off my phone every time I get up to do that and stop recording. I just let it record. That way I don't have to come back and try and do the whole thing over again. Um, and get set up again and all the stuff. So, I just let it record and that just adds time to it. So, I'm, after all of that, I would say that this... Like, taking all that into consideration, I would say if you could just sit down and actually just worry about this and do this, it would take maybe 20 minutes per hand, maybe. So, that's just something to think about. Look at how easy this one came off. I obviously filed this one down good and put enough product on that finger because it just, like, came off so nice this fingernail was so satisfying it really was when I did it and I seen all of that product come up I was like oh that's nice so nice and it see just came right off so I will be leaving this finger alone and I will not be um applying anymore anything to it that just, it took care of that finger super easily. And, um, this is just, it's a repetitive process. This is what it is, you know? You just apply the stuff, let it sit and do its thing, and start scraping and peeling. And here is kind of, okay, not here. My bad. See, I'm already, when I stop like that, if you see me stop and hover around a situation for a second, that's me um, 
talking to my son and trying to get stuff figured out. This is where I realized that I did not apply my layer like I was doing. So I just applied it there and then skipped over it and went to my pinky. So that also added into my time situation because that finger did take longer because I didn't, because I skipped a step on it on accident. So, you know, if you have all your ducks in a row, this process will be way faster for you than me with my scattered ducks. So keep that in mind too. Um, so yes, I do, I do recommend this. Uh, if you do not like soaking, if you don't like just filing your product down, um, I recommend. I, because I use, I do overlays all the time and then just use pill base and then do my mayonnaise on top of that. So I do like to do different things with my overlays, you know, builder gel. Sometimes I'll do dip powder. Sometimes I'll do full cover extensions, like full cover tips, you know. So I got this because I wanted to try it and I figured, you know, why not try it on builder gel, which is kind of a pain in the butt. So that's what we did and it worked and I like it and I will be using it again when I am wearing builder gel. I think it is an awesome alternative to having to soak in acetone and dry in your poor little phalanges, you know? So, uh, yeah, that is it. And if you guys, so it's triple D, it's triple T, triple D, get naked, and I think it was like $12 maybe. But, you know. And after I finished this hand and filming and everything, I did do the exact same thing on my right hand. And it worked just the same. Um, got everything done. And I was pretty impressed because at first I wasn't really sure if it would work or not. I know like I've seen other videos of um people using it and it worked for them but I still like just didn't quite believe it. <laughs> it's one of those things you know you gotta like do it yourself to truly believe it and have an opinion about it so that's what I did and I really like it and when I am done with this um it is kind of gross having all this weird like gel stuff everywhere like product on that paper towel I'm like eh, I could live without that but <laughs> I mean it's gonna come off one way or another anyways it needs to you know so whatever but when I was done with this I did buff my nails and, um, see, this finger just took the longest, but we just kept applying stuff and getting it done. But anyways, um, I did buff my nails after this with my buffing block, my Kiara Sky buffing block. I love that buffing block. It is so nice. Um, and I got everything all smoothed out. I, um washed my hands after I buffed and this is what we are going to be looking at so I cut a lot of this out for buffing wise because I was out of frame I'm sorry so this is all you're gonna see and this is what we ended up with after I washed my hands these are my nails and there's still a tiny tiny bit of product on a few of them but I was happy with this so that's my video guys I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, bitches.